All right, here is my Geiger counter board again. I am not concerned at all with the Geiger counter circuit as such. Here is my high voltage supply that's generated through this transformer. Output is about 170, 180 volts. I'm using a voltage doubler circuit to rectify, filter, and double the voltage DC coming out of these two capacitors and two diodes. I'll explain how that very simple circuit works. It's great for generating high voltage DC. And that's what you're reading here. 500 volts from 9 volts. Not bad. Alright, we're looking at my high voltage generator board. The main thing we're concerned with is the 170 volts coming out of the uh, primary side of this transformer. It's being used in reverse to step up voltage instead of step it down. The idea being is to take the 170 volts out of that transformer and use a voltage doubler circuit to, to achieve the 500 volts I need to operate this Geiger tube. The voltage doubler in this case consists of two diodes, D1 and D2, and two capacitors, C1 and C2. This is sort of the circuit here. Uh, the board does not use that. That's a different type of circuit. But here in your case, you've got a D1, you've got D2, C1 and C2. If you want it to, and since the other board that I have ha can, can have its output voltage controlled, you might want to consider using some Zener diodes and a final filter capacitor. Here I'm not concerned with, I'm only concerned with these four components here. Here's your voltage doubler configuration. What it really is, is two half-wave rectification setups charging separate capacitors, and the capacitors total voltage will add together, giving us a voltage that is two times the input voltage. As a note, the capacitor will charge up to peak, and in the case of peak, for 120 volts AC, that's approximately 170 volts. Let's argue it this way. This input is positive. This input is negative. Obviously, if we look at the D1 will be turned off when this lower pin is on the negative half cycle. D1 is turned off. D2 is turned on. Thus, capacitor C2 charges to 170 volts. On the next half cycle, the polarity is reversed. In this case, D2 is turned off, D1 is turned on, and C1 is charged to 170 volts. The voltage on C1 plus C2 equals 340 volts. And that's all there is to it. You're just, alt you're just charging up two half-wave rectifier filtering setups, and then the voltages add. You can, uh, and these do not have to be polarized capacitors. In the case of the high-voltage setup that I had, I use one microfarad non-polarized capacitors, and they work just as well. Also note caution. If you run this circuit, these capacitors, particularly if they don't have anything connected to them, will hold a charge. And the charge on that particular Geiger counter circuit will sit there, and I sat, it was two days later, and it still had a 500 volt charge there. These capacitors will hold a charge, so if, even if you disconnect the power, and... Uh, you could still get yourself shocked. So that is our basic how-to on voltage doubler circuits. Thanks for listening.